and in this connection i would like to draw your attention towards one simple thing yeah even though by total we have 12 class 12 tenses there are four in each so three fours are 12 tenses totally but you do not need to get them get through them all if you can remember well of the present tense the four tenses in present tense with a simple change you can go to past tense and even future tense as well for example I, i'm going to show you now so now it is simple past tense so can i ask you to remember or recapitulate the structure of a sentence in simple present tense yeah if you can remember well my friends the structure of a sentence in simple present tense is subject plus v1 plus object so v1 is otherwise called as present tense main verb because it is simple present tense we use present tense main verb v1 in the simple present tense but now here it is simple past tense so you can simply exchange with v v1 to v2 v2 is otherwise called as past tense main verb so that structure can be subject plus v2 that means past tense main verb plus object such a simple structure with a simple change in place of v1 you write v2 that is a, you can if you can adopt a simple change you can get the past tense structure of the corresponding past tense right now let us see and when we want to make an interrogative sentence a negative sentence we you know that we we need an auxiliary verb but if you can see very like this subject plus v2 plus object i'll write i have written an example here she lost her purse she lost her purse she is a subject lost is a verb her purse is an object we barely see we hardly see any auxiliary verb helping verb in it but to make an interrogate on negative we need to have uh, uh, the help from uh, should be taken from uh, an auxiliary verb we don't find it but remember my friends every v2 is nothing but it is the product of v1 plus did here example lost so lost is nothing but it is the product of lose plus did so with the help taken from this date we can make an interrogative sentence and a negative sentence as well right let's go back to speak about even the structure subject plus v2 plus object so if i can write an example here she subject lost is v2 her purse is an object she lost her purse is an example yeah it is a statement ended in a full stop it is an affirmative sentence right now we would like to make an interrogative sentence and a negative sentence yeah uh, and in the last class i told you what is the biggest difference between affirmative sentence and interrogative sentence as far as the structure of it concerned is the first two subject plus helping verb plus main verb plus object that pattern is for affirmative whereas the first two they interchange the places it's like not the subject plus helping verb but it is helping verb plus subject so the first two they will interchange the places and you can uh, help with the help taken from this did the helping verb you can make an interrogative sense see if you can take this did out what remains here so lost is equal to lose plus did if you can take this did out lose remains so did she lose her purse so because it is an interrogative sentence it is ended in a question mark so did she lose her purse it is an interrogative sentence whereas when you want to give a negative response to this and you have to add not to it where to add this not a not is always added after the helping verb again in this case also we have to take help from this did yeah she did because you would like to make a negative sentence you have to not add not here so she did not lose her purse is a negative sentence that is the negative response so did she lose her purse is a question yes she lost her purse is an affirmative no she did not lose her purse is a negative sentence right now
let us examine when do we use this simple past tense the usage yeah the usage of simple past tense is actions those already happened in the past so actions those already happened in the past must be expressed in simple past tense where the simple past tense is used to express convey actions those already happened in the past so again a question when did this part past start sir when does this past start so now it is exactly 11 10 now every moment we have lost is past maybe 11 9 is past so whatever lost moment last moment is past tense i gave you some example here he wrote a letter yesterday he is a subject wrote is we to a letter is an object so he wrote a letter yesterday i found a job last month india got the world cup for the first time in 1983 so this if you say yesterday if you say last month or if you say 1983 everything that has already happened so which is already happened you have to express it in simple past tense and coming to the pronunciation of a so maybe in your schools they say that a b c d but in fact a is not an english sound see in english we don't have a a a i o o o they are telugu sounds but how do you pronounce this is a uh. so where you have to say that he wrote a letter yesterday so he wrote a letter yesterday don't say he wrote uh, he wrote a letter yesterday we don't say a huh? fine so he wrote a letter yesterday a form job last month and india got the world cup for the first time in 1983 so all the things already happened so you have to express it in a simple past tense coming to the clue how can you identify sentence in simple past is my friend the clue the clue is yesterday is a clue back. you can say long back you can say long ago so if you say long ago ago means that refers to a, an action which is already happened so something which is already happened must be expressed in simple past tense and moreover last week last month last plus any word like last sunday last monday last summer last season last ipl season whatever last plus any word to be taken uh, as a clue for simple past tense and past numerics numerics is a number so the numbers the years of num num the numbers of years the numbers of months which has already happened you you have to identify that they are simple past tense right 1975 when i was born 2000 2010 all these yesterday years already happened any doubt no sir right thank you so this is where we we have discussed simple past tense now let us discuss the next past continuous tense or which is otherwise called as past progressive tense yeah even in this connection i can ask you to remember the structure of a sentence in present continuous tense yeah if you can remember well my friends the structure of present continuous tense is subject plus am is are plus v4 plus object yeah that is because present continuous tense we used present tense b form verbs am oblique is oblique are but no this is past tense past continuous tense so in place of present tense b form verb you have to use it past tense b form verb which is was or were yeah so the structure now subject plus was or were plus v4 plus object and even in this connection i can tell you what the pronunciation of w e r e don't pronounce it as were it is not were it is were 
Could you please repeat after me? Where? Hello. Where? 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 Yeah, that's good. So subject plus was or where plus v for plus object. That is structure of past continuous tense or past progressive tense. And if you have was or where an oblique here, where to use was, a way to use where. Yeah, here I have a given hint in the subject I, he, she, it, they takes was after them. Whereas the other subjects, we, you, they, they take, they accept where after them. Right. Now let us make an example. She is a subject. After she, it was was. She was paint plus ing is equal to painting. She was painting a picture. She was painting a picture. That is an affirmative sentence. Yeah. Now let's make an interrogative sentence. Yeah. We, we have discussed many times that we have to change the word order, the first two words order. It is not one, two, three, four, but rather two, one, three, four. If you can change the order of the first two words, you will get interrogative sentence. In place of she was painting a picture, you can change was she painting a picture and end it in a question mark. That is an interrogative sentence. And when you would like to make a negative sentence, yes, you have to add not, not after the helping verb. So what is the helping verb here? Was is the helping verb. She was, because you would like to make a negative sentence, you have to add not here. She was not painting painting a picture. She was not painting a picture is a negative response. So this is as far as the structure and a question, positive response and a negative response. And coming to the uses of uses of this past tense, past continuous tense. Even for this also, I can ask you to remember the uses of present continuous tense. No, I'll tell you. Present means prasutum. Continuous means konasautun. So prasutum konasautun. At the time of speaking, maybe what I am speaking now, what the things going on at this moment, we have to express in present continuous tense. But this is past continuous. So past continuous tense is used to express an action which continued for a certain period in the past. And I got the law. Okay, because if you want to contact column part to one of the sign in a serial me, we have to express in past continuous tense. For example, yesterday, Jan first, you want to wish one of your friends, you want to give a, a gift to one of your friends. You, you made a call to her. I want to give you a gift. I want to wish you on, on the eve of New Year. She asked you to come at a particular place at a particular time. Maybe at a 10 o'clock, she asked you to come. All right. You made yourself, you prepared yourself. You pick a new shirt and tuck and everything. You reached the place at the appointed hour. You don't find anybody over there. She's not here. She's not there. What do you do? What do you do? You wait. What is meant by wait? So wait does not mean you reach the place at the particular hour time. When you don't find her, you just leave. That cannot be called wait. So if the pointed R is 10 o'clock, you reach by 10 o'clock the place, maybe 30, 40 minutes, you wait for her there. That is called wait. So that means the wait, the process of wait starts at 10 o'clock. It continued till 1045. So waiting, it continued for a certain period. That is yesterday, that means past time. So in the past, the action which continued for a certain period in the past has to be expressed in 
past continuous tense. So I was waiting for her yesterday, this time. And uh, I made one more example. We were watching test cricket last week this time. Huh? Watching. We knew that the match was held between India and Australia. You want to see it. You switch on the TV. You see that a ball is bowled by perhaps Bumra bowled. Or in the next test match, Natrajan is going to join. He bowled a ball. And he switched off the TV. Can you call it is a watching cricket? You just watched one ball bowled. So we cannot call it as a watching. So what is meant by watching? So maybe in Australia, a test match starts at 4.30 in the morning. So maybe at 6.30, the time you wake up, you just wanted to know the score. And you switch on the TV. You see that a few hours been bowled. If it is spin bowlers, maybe they can they can bowl 14, 15 hours in you know, an hour. If it is fast bowlers, it is hardly they can do 12 hours, 12 hours an hour. So you watch those those 10 hour, one hour, 10 hours, 15 hours been bowled. That we can call it is watching. So in the past, for a set in period, like 45 minutes, one hour, one and a half hour, it went on well. And that we call it is continued. So an action which continued for a set in period in the past, that you have to express in past continuous tense. So we were watching test cricket last week this time. So last week, cricket choose to namu. So what is meant by choose to namu? The sentence itself is telling you that it is continued for a while. For a while, it continued. So those sort of things, so those sort of actions that you have to express in past continuous tense. And coming to the clues, my friends, while is a clue, W-H-I-L-E. For that, I made one, of, one more example coding using while. While I was waiting, if I if I give you this sentence, how did you fill it? While I asked for your our teacher, she met me. So yes, while Neno, my teacher goes on wait chase to undaga. So that means. That is, she met me. That is already past tense that had already happened. So, wait is not, it cannot be done in a moment of fraction of moments. Wait, the word wait is, it requires language. It requires continuity. Wait itself. Wait Languity, it has languity, continuity in it. So here, while I'd ask for our teacher, so you can use wait. So while I'd ask wait for our teacher, she met me. So here you can say that while I was waiting. You say that I was waiting. And even with the pronunciation of I, in Telugu, we have a, a, I, that is Telugu sound. Don't substitute the sound in English language. Don't say I was. No, I is not in English language. It is a, uh, I was. You say I was. Can you please try? I was. I was. I was. I was waiting. I was waiting I was waiting. Ah, good. Fantastic. Fantastic. So don't say that I was waiting. I is Telugu sound. Hmm? Yeah. And likewise, we have some more clues. Any past clue plus this time. Say here yesterday, this time. Yesterday is a past clue. 
and along with you have this time and last week this time last week again that is a past clue again you have this time so if you can find any past clue along with this time you have to conclude that it is past continuous tense right my friends we finished uh, past continuous tense now it is past perfect yeah the same rule applied here i'll ask you remember the structure of present perfect tense subject plus have or has plus v3 plus object yeah because that is present perfect tense where you are supposed to use present tense have form verb have or has but this is past perfect tense where you are supposed to replace that have or has present perfect i mean present and have form verbs with past tense have form verb fortunately we have only one past tense have have form verb had so we have replaced have or has with had so you can have the structure now subject plus had plus v3 plus object that is a structure of past perfect tense now let's make an example she of course whatever the subject you have to copy had she had and v3 paint painted painted so she had painted the picture she had painted the picture it's a statement it's an affirmative sentence again when you want to make an interrogative sentence and a negative sentence we have to make use of the auxiliary verb here had again when you want to make an interrogative sentence you have to interchange these two so in place she had you have to write had she so you start with auxiliary verb had in the subject is she had she and you please copy the rest painted the picture so had she painted the picture ended in a question mark so it is an interrogative sentence fine and now a negative response when you want to say no you have to add not not after the helping verb she had because you want to make a negative sentence you have to add not here she had not painted the picture is a negative response this good now let's find out when do we use past perfect yeah while we were discussing simple past i told you simple past is used to refer actions which are already happened in the past that's wonderful right you learned <laughs> but there is a slight difference when you want to speak about two things which are already happened in the past and provided they must be they must have a connection so you want to speak you want to refer about two things which are already happened in the past if you want to express in which if you want to express the first action it must be expressed in past perfect whereas the second must be in simple past tense i'm going to tell you how it is for example you want to go to hyderabad you book the ticket to godavari express maybe it is at 5 o'clock in the evening so you are little late in starting you delayed your starting resultantly even the traffic was so heavy in the evening you couldn't reach 
the station in time what happens my friends kya kya hota hai if you don't reach the station in time what happens the train left the station ah, train ali pod so that happened that happened so now you want to refer two things one you reach a station second the train left these are two some way they are connected with your life right so let me tell what happened first here i miss the train you said i miss the train what it is meant by miss the train means that you were late the train had already gone so two things happened first train gone second you reached these are the two things happened in the past see when two things happened in the past one the first thing happened must be expressed in past perfect hence i said the train had left already i have added for emphasis the train had already left what happened next i reached the station that it is in simple past tense so the train had left already left that is past perfect i reached the station simple past tense so my friends like this if there are two things happened when you want to speak about the first thing happened that you have to express in past perfect tense whereas when you want to refer the second action happened that you have to express in simple past tense so also i have given you one more example on as an instance rohit had finished his century before i switched on the tv yeah the match is been conducted between india and some other country australia he knew it little late so by the time you knew and you switch on the tv rohit sharma so quick right he had already finished his century so two things happened one rohit sharma completed his century second is you have switched on the tv so when you want to refer to these two things and check what happened first and what happened next yeah rohit finished century that happened first you switched on tv that happened next so the first thing in two past action happened must be expressed in past perfect so rohit subject plus had plus v3 finished so rohit had finished his century and next happened i switched on i switched on v2 tv is object so this is why my friend is coming to clue how can you identify that the sentence is in past perfect is here in the two instances i give you in the middle of the sentences see i even i made it bold before is there right so this must be the clue for past perfect tense before is used as a conjunction in the sentences so like these two with this we finished past perfect tense now let's go discuss past perfect continuous tense as a matter of fact i'll ask you to again to remind you or to remember the structure of present perfect continuous tense subject plus have or has plus been plus v4 plus object that is the structure of present perfect continuous tense but this is past perfect continuous tense you know 
So in place of have or has present tense have form verbs, you have to replace it with past tense have form verb had. So if you can change that change, adopt a change, it will become subject plus had plus been plus v4 plus object. That is a structure. Right, we can make an example. She is the subject, and whatever the subject is, had been, they have to be copied. So she had been paint placing painting, she had been painting, and pictures is object. She had been painting pictures is a sentence. It is a statement. So it is an affirmative sentence, assertive sentence. Now, when we would like to make an interrogative sentence or a negative sentence, we discussed that we have to take help from the helping verb. But here you see here in this case, she is the subject had been is. There are two helping verbs in this case. Yeah. Here is a little difficulty where what to be taken for granted, taken into consideration. Yeah, here it is, my friends. There is a rule that when there are two or more helping verbs, auxiliary verbs in a sentence, you have to consider the first helping verb. That means in she had been had been there are two but you have to take in had into consideration so when you want to make an interrogative sentence or when you want to make a negative sentence you have to consider the first helping verb had when you want to make interrogative sentence you have to write the helping verb before the subject so that means you have to write the first helping verb had even before the subject. So as we do in all those things, the first two, they'll exchange their places. So in place of she had, you had to write had she. Had she copied the rest, been painting pictures? Had she been, had she been painting pictures? Because it is an interrogative sentence, you have to end in a question mark. And when you want to give a negative response, for which you have to add not, even to add this not also, you have to add this not after the first helping way. So she had not been painting pictures. It is a negative sentence. Right now, now let's discuss the usage. When do we use this past perfect continuous tense? Even here also, I'll again ask you to remember the usage of present perfect continuous tense. Yeah, present perfect tense, sorry, present perfect continuous tense is used to express an action started in the past and still continues. We have made an example that some project or a temple, a bridge in your village, it was started when you are in eighth class or seventh class even today they are still building it polvaram project so an action started in the past and still continues but here it is past perfect continuous tense this is a small change past perfect continuous tense is used to express an action which was started in the past 
continued for a long time and finished also in the past if i can take the same example we discussed while we were discussing present continuous present continuous perfect tense present perfect continuous tense a, a bridge a temple a project which was started in 7th class in your 7th class they built it till your intermediate first year they finished it in your intermediate first year that means the project was started in your 7th class that is past tense they they built it in your 7th <coughs> class 8th class 9th class 10th class they finished it in your intermediate first year past tense so an action started in the past continued for a long time like 5 5 years finished also in the past those kind of those sort of event actions should be expressed in past perfect continuous tense i can give you some example here <coughs> i'm sorry we had been learning hindi from our 7th class to 10th class even i can add here hours yeah we had been learning hindi from our 7th class to 10th class yeah we started learning hindi in our 7th class past tense we learned hindi in 7th class 8th class 9th class 10th class so like for our four years we have learned it and now we have quit learning it in 10th class we have left it now we are not learning it so an action started in the past in 7th class it continued for a long while like till 10th class 5 years or 4 years it continued and finished also in 10th class finished also in the past those actions should be expressed in past perfect continuous tense <laughs> so also i had another example they had been living here between 2000 and 2010 so they had started living here in 2000 which is past they had lived here for 11 years till 10 10 11 years a long time 11 years is a long time in life and finished they have shifted from here to some other place in 2010 so that means they live here from 2000 past tense to 2010 past tense so an action started in the past continued for a long while and finished also in the past those things should be expressed in past perfect continuous tense and coming to the clue how to identify sentence in past perfect continuous tense two past clues or past expressions here like 7th class is your past tense 10th class is your past tense 2000 is your past tense and 2010 is your past tense so likewise so with this my friends we finished the discussion of past tense when we meet again